Becky Lynch had an incredible run between 2018 and 2020, and in the eyes of many fans, it was like she could do no wrong. But more recently, it seems that some fans have started to turn against her. Her contract with WWE is set to expire on June the 1st, and if she doesn't sign a new deal before then, she'll officially become a free agent. As I make this video, what she will do next remains uncertain, but it's understood that she'll be taking a break from the ring one way or the other. And by the attitude of fans online, many people are happy to hear it. I've seen quite a lot of hate towards Becky recently on the internet, on Twitter, on Reddit, on Instagram. I also asked you guys, my YouTube subscribers, for your opinions. And a significant majority of you said that you thought that it was time for the man to take a walk. So I've been trying to get a grip on what everyone's problem seems to be. In this video, I'm going to explore where it all seems to have gone wrong for Big Time Bex. One of the main reasons that fans have turned against Becky is that she's been overexposed. She's just been on TV far too much recently without taking a break. In fact, it's been going on for the last few years. Since she came back from maternity leave in August 2021, she's barely been off TV, apart from the shoulder injury that put her out of action for a couple of months in 2022. The tipping point for many fans was when she won the Battle Royal to become the new women's champion after Rhea Ripley had to vacate the title. We wrestling fans just want to see new storylines and new faces on top every so often because we're watching week after week, month after month, and there's no off-season. It's so easy for any superstar on the roster to become stale from overexposure. And that's definitely been the case with Becky. But for some fans, it seems to be a bit more personal. A lot of people are saying that they're just bored of her character generally that her promos always sound the same, lacking the same spark that they once had, almost like she's painting by numbers. She always speaks in the same predictable, monotone way. I mean, being a two-dimensional character is not a new problem for pro wrestlers. A lot of wrestlers suffer from this, but Becky has been exactly the same for years now. When she came back to the active roster in 2021, Many of us were annoyed that she came back as a heel. Fans didn't want big time Bex because there was so much momentum left in the man as a character and we really wanted to enjoy that character and we wanted to cheer for her. But now it's been over six years since that character was introduced and that's a long time. There's also criticism about her in-ring performance with people saying that her wrestling skills have declined over the last few years. I've seen people saying that she looks slower and less sharp in the ring than she did a couple of years ago. But personally, I don't agree with that at all. And I think she's had some fantastic matches in recent times. And her in-ring psychology is still some of the best in the business. Her match against Tiffany Stratton at NXT No Mercy was one of the best matches of the entire night. Her match against Trish Stratus at Payback in September was surprisingly fantastic too, considering that the feud itself was so bad. Some fans have said that the match with Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania was below par, but I really enjoyed it, and come on, Becky had the flu, for goodness sake. The match against Nia Jax at Raw Day 1 and I just love how she sold for Jax in that match. It was really, really good. And now let's come right up to date with that match that took place at the King and Queen of the Ring pay-per-view, where she lost the Women's Championship to Liv Morgan. In my opinion, this was one of Becky's weaker matches in recent memory, but it was still pretty decent. And considering that Becky's about to take an extended leave of absence from the ring, She's probably exhausted right about now. While I do understand that some fans think that she's been overexposed, and I do agree with that to a certain extent, you can't accuse her of always coming out on top. 
Remember back in the old days when wrestlers would refuse to lose clean? I'm talking about the likes of Hulk Hogan, of course, who spent less time on his back than a tortoise. Well, that's not Becky. She clearly has no problem doing the job when she's asked to. Instead of only thinking about herself, she's been doing a lot to build up the women's division. Becky has been instrumental in elevating other talents like Bianca Belair, Tiffany Stratton and Lyra Valkyria, and of course, Nia Jax. She's focused on putting over younger talents and helping them to shine over the last couple of years. And nobody can accuse her of hogging the world championship either. She was away from the title for two whole years, of course. Some fans were seriously pissed off when she won the world title that Rhea Ripley vacated. With the power of hindsight, we can see that Liv Morgan has come out looking like a bigger star for beating Becky for the championship and that Becky was just a transitional champion. So I do understand why some fans have turned against Becky. Some of the criticisms are undeniable. Yet, she's been overexposed in that she hasn't been off our screens for years. And given the nature of wrestling where it's on week after week, it's easy for fans to grow tired of seeing the same superstars over and over again, especially when their character or their gimmick hasn't changed for such a long time. A few months away from the ring could give Becky the break that she needs and give fans a chance to actually miss her too. That time off could be used to develop a fresh new look or attitude. Perhaps it's time to retire the man once and for all. Because let's be honest, after six years, the gimmick has run its course. It's up to both Becky and WWE to come up with something new for her to do when she comes back. I think WWE should consider introducing a secondary women's championship similar to the Intercontinental title that would provide more opportunities for not just Becky, but all the women on the roster to do something different than just chase the world title or the tag team titles. Above all else, whether you're sick of the sight of her or not, we should respect and appreciate the huge contributions that Becky's made to boosting the women's division in WWE. Ultimately, I think with a well-deserved break and a fresh persona, she might be able to come back with a more appreciative fan base waiting for her. And maybe we'll all be really excited to see her back again. Or, by the time I've made this video, she might have signed with AEW instead.